What is going on guys and welcome back to another brand new video. This is a GTA video on the new DLC, the nightclubs, which just came out today. There's a lot of useless, useless? <laughs> a lot of useful information in this one for you guys before you end up buying the nightclub and if you've already bought it and that you need a little bit more of an inside information on it. So here we go. So right now you got the home screen that gives you the nightclub popularity, total earnings at the bottom. You can see total stock, uh, how much money that you got in the stock and where the stock is coming from. Just like any other business that you have in GTA right now. So what happens is here is it tells you uh, how many missions you've done, how many sell missions you've done, and then gives you your total earnings. But with that being said, let's go into nightclub management so I can actually show you how nightclub management actually works. So let me click on nightclub management. There we go. So you got promote club. Now promoting club increases the popularity at the top, just like resupplying like your bunker and any of your cocaine, meth, any, any business like that. So basically this is what this is, does and that income it keeps the popularity of the club up so that you make sure that you earn the daily income the maximum daily income which is 10,000 per day so when it starts to deplete your um, daily in day, ugh, daily income does too so when it gets down to about half a bar I think it comes down by about a thousand so full bar two thousand so on so on so on the price that you charge get charged per day for the staff is not that much anyway so it's like 1500 so it's not that bad when it comes down to it so DJs this is the DJ I have present present which is Solomon you get this one as soon as you start your nightclub I have no idea how you get the rest of them so I will actually inform everybody on that when it comes to the when I figure it all out. So warehouse management. This is where all of your stock goes when you do the sourcing missions. Well, they're not sourcing missions. We'll talk more about it. So basically what happens is, is you got five dudes at the top. You can have all five active at once, but you can only have them activated on one thing at a time. So basically you have one dude on one thing and then another dude on another thing. And this is how much it's going to cost me to buy my third person, which is 184500 And when I buy another guy, it's going to go up even more. I'm not actually going to buy another dude right now because I don't want to. I only have two businesses going. So what happens is, is I'm doing my bunker, so I put it on sporting goods because sporting goods is the weapons that are getting done in my bunker so everybody thought when this DLC was coming out that our weapons in our bunker that were getting produced they would end up in our bunker well we were entirely wrong what's gonna happen is, is this dude is going to actually go out and source us weapons from an unknown source so it's like it's a passive thing and it replenishes every so often like it goes up every so often even though that you're still getting the gun, the guns in your bunker so you can actually sell those as well by themselves and you do actually have to have them supplied from what I I gather right now because I have my meth business going and my meth business is actually unsupplied but it's actually working uh, it's not actually getting me any income where I s set up the meth and the guns at the same time so I'm guessing you do actually have to have supplies in there for this actually to work when it comes to selling the goods you can sell as a full lot uh, so you can sell all of the goods all at once or you can do it like you do with vehicle cargo and collect like the cents for the actual buyers I don't know if this grants you any more money like cars does or not I'm not sure it's something that I am also going to be looking into as well now upgrades now these are the upgrades you got your equipment upgrade and then you've got the staff upgrade and then you got your security upgrade 
<laughs> equipment upgrade is really expensive. I think it was like 1.5 mil or something like that. I can't even remember. Staff upgrade and security upgrades are below a mil. So now I'm going to show you where your money goes when it's stored in your wall safe. So as you can see, I've got 20,000 in my wall safe right now, and my wall safe is actually over here. Now this is nothing happens to this. This is all your money. So you just open the wall safe like this. When it takes it takes a, sec, a couple of seconds if you've ever opened a safe, and once it's open, you just walk up to the safe, and your money's collected. Now you can actually also set um, like an entry fee. Now the entry fee has got nothing to do with the money that you earn. It's more of like money from players. You can set it up to a hundred thousand, or I mean a hundred dollars, or you can have it as free. You may as well leave it at free because from what I've seen, you don't actually get that money from it. Um, because a friend of mine came in and I never got a hundred dollars from him paying to come in here or anything like that. So now we're going to go downstairs and I find the lift. Here's the lift over here. It's easy to get lost in this place, like for real. So we'll go on the lift, we'll go downstairs and I'll show you what's downstairs also. Do 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 Alright, here we are. I know it said that it was the basement, but this is basically the storage area of everything that your people source while you're out doing other things. So it's got the exact same laptop here as the ones upstairs, and it's got these on every single floor down here, and I think there's like five floors or something you know that you can buy so I bought every single last one of them but it's, it's but that's really it so in here is where one of my guys is, is. Uh, he's just chilling there's a security guard or CEO Got no idea what else goes on in here you can't do anything so I may as well just leave don't know where my other guy is he might be out on doing things I don't know uh, where are we going now? Let me think. Now we'll go through here. Oh, there's my guy right there. He's actually over here counting stock, I guess. Yeah, he must be doing stock. So yeah, as you can see, there's my guns, and they did not come from my bunker or anything like that. He just got them from anywhere. Now this is the vehicle workshop. You can store the three vehicles you get from the war stock this one you do actually get for free when you buy the in the nightclub itself and you can fully customize it it's got leveries everything armor now i do want to say that there's no point in buying i don't know, I've figure it out where the hell it is uh come on think 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 all right here we go armor plating do not buy this this one this version of the armor is terrible the ram does not work at all and it only takes one missile to destroy these vans in any way so if you are going to do anything like this you need to be careful when it comes to selling but that's it for the video guys i hope you all enjoyed it and uh don't forget to like and subscribe for more and leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what you think uh have you bought the nightclub or no i'll see you in the next one peace out guys